Hey everyone, welcome back to Twilight Princess 3 Heart Run. This is Izgushi. This is Apple Snap a lot. This is the water temple, the lake bed temple. This is the water level rising to meet the boss door. This is me trying to dive off but avoiding the handle, but then I ended up just diving into the water without hitting the stairs and getting gnawed on by piranhas. This is me using the hook shot, or the claw shot, to get out of the water with the piranhas. This is me saying the last sentence that will start with, this is me. It's also the first one that ends with, this is me. That was but the not the last! <laughs> Like how he's just pointing away, pulling away. <laughs> well, he's, he's moving because the water's moving. That's actually really good attention to detail. I don't think it I is. noticed that before. So now, what am I even doing now if the water's up to the boss? Oh, I'm going to get the boss key. I just realized, I don't know how you'd get over to the boss key without raising the water le level twice. Because before I was talking about how some people would get the boss key and then just hook shot up to the chandelier. Yes. Oh, I think I know how. When you're on the, uh, the gear up on the top, you can jump down to that doorway. And it has, like, a little awning over it to keep you from doing that. But if you... Hit the sword button, I guess on the Wii it would be waggle it, because that's what I would do because I'm playing on the Wii version. Uh, you'll go forward a little, and then you can sort of finagle your way onto that platform. This room is actually kind of confusing. Because <laughs> it's a really weird maze. Hey, remember before when you were talking about fishing with claw shots? Yeah. And hook shots and yeah. whatnot? Bam. That's what I just did. Didn't work. It just left me do it again. This room is... yeah, this room is big and confused. Well, I'm not big, but... it's... It's a really weird maze, and since there's water, it's a 3D maze. But yeah. I didn't actually know that that guy would be there. I was just looking around with a claw shot in hopes that there would be one there so I wouldn't have to waste a bomb. Oh, there's the end boss. <laughs> Before you even get to the boss key. Yep. Swimming in 3D. Have you ever worked? It kind of worked in God of War, but that's just because it had a fixed camera. So, here's the kind of like weird puzzle that they have, and uh, that claw shot switch is kind of like those switches where you have to have, keep something on top of it. Like if I were to let go, the door would close. So that's just sort of the show you that you can just scoot down all, all along the chain and whatnot. That key would hurt to actually use. You saw that spiky part would be in your hand. I guess. Again, it's like saw. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Claw shot fail. But I get my revenge by yanking out his innards. You disemboweled him? More or less. Don't do it! Hey. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. You... You can't fool me twice. Not sure that's how it goes. 
Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> Watch out! So here I was thinking, because on my practice run it took me a lot, a long time to grab that ledge and pull myself up. So I'm thinking, oh, I'll go over to this part where it's, you know, dipping off into the water, thinking, hey, it's a ramp. Turns out that doesn't work. You just can't climb on there. Luckily, the uh, the keys, the bats, don't actually attack you if you're dangling from a gear. And then here, I just didn't do it quick enough because there's only one target on that on that gear that you can get. That's way over there now. You might be able to get the one that the chains hang from. You probably can't. I don't know. I just had to wait for the other one. This part is fairly tedious. Not gonna lie. Looks like fun. Also, why didn't I fast forward through that? What the hell? Yeah, there's just a lot of waiting for gears. How have we gone this far without some sort of stupid gears of war pun? I've been trying, but... We maybe could have done one with that last one, like, oh, waiting for Gears, because Gears of War 3 is taking so long to come out. Well, the games take a long times to come out, that's what they do. <laughs> I guess. Especially if they're made by Valve or Blizzard. Or anyone that's... Like, the more money you have, the more time it takes to shove that money into it. I don't know. Had... The Assassin's Creed 2 sequel came out in a year. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And apparently it's pretty good. How much original stuff does that make? I don't know. You fell down a hole, you lose. I just fell into this giant-ass room that takes, like, five minutes to fall to the bottom of. It's a condom. <laughs> a condom with an eye in it. And from this point forward, whenever you see that, you will see a lot of condoms. Of condoms. Busy night. Also, now whenever you see a condom, you can see <laughs> that. Teeth. A vagina dentata. Except it's even worse, because there's two of them. Two sets of teeth. So this, this fight I played kind of safe. Because if you're too close, I'll actually take one of the condoms, <laughs> one of the tentacles, and grab you and eat you. Why would you try and hook your shot, hook shot yourself into its mouth? No, I'm trying to hook shot the eyeball. There's one where you pointed it straight, straight at its mouth, and you were like, "Oh, I, I want to be in there." <laughs> Maybe I was just trying to stun it or something, see if that would get the eyeball closer to me sooner. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for for Morpha. And, um, but if you're too close, it'll grab you with one of the tentacles and shove you into the mouth, and it takes off a full heart. And it's really hard to avoid, so I just sort of stay back and, um, just do it patiently. Like fishing. I guess. I, don't know, I was trying to come up with some sort of disturbing sexual analogy for all those bomb fish coming out, but I got nothing. <laughs> They're chasing me. I want to get away from those bombs. <laughs> it did not work. That concussion would have hurt so much underwater. So... I don't even know how this eyeball works. There, I don't even think there's any sort of living creature that would have an eyeball that could do that sort of stuff. Well, first up, what's it even using that eyeball for? Looking at 
I don't know. <laughs> it could just be like some sort of creature that looks like an eyeball, like a a later boss. But yeah, I don't even know. And they couldn't have made it some other kind of weak point other than an eyeball, like like an actual brain, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this is the third boss in a row that has an eyeball as its weak point. And then there's a couple more after this, too. And then this happens, and you see that... That's disgusting. <laughs> um... Phallic joke. Okay, now that that's out of the way, you see that the eyeball's on its back. So not only does it move through the tentacles, but it, like, sits in its back now. So I... I feel like at some point there would have been a duplication there. Air and it would have gotten extra eyes, so it could see more than nothing else. So this fight really reminds me of some other game, and I can't for the life of me think what it is. I suppose it would help if I would have like maybe named my character and my horse after characters from that game, but I don't think I did that either. I don't know. Got a war. It's just something about how colossal this boss is, and how I... There was a Colossus in God of War? There was. So I think that's what you're thinking of. Um, I guess. Because, I mean, just the size of this thing overshadows any other, you know, traits it has. And the fact that you ride it around. It must be God of War. Dab it in the eye. And then it freaks out. I like how this boss dies too. This one has one of the best anim death animations of the game. Bam! It just crashes into Base a wall. Plant. Because that's what happens when you can't see with your eye that you weren't even watching with anyway. And then the water starts straining. Oh yeah, so here's my question. If this is at the bottom of the lake, and then if this boss is at the bottom of the temple that's at the bottom of the lake, where's the water draining to? The Undercity. Okay. Where the old ones live. And then it explodes in a line like Volvagia, and um... You just got a bunch of old ones wet and shoggoths. I think Mulgera explodes that way too, and it always looks cool. How whenever whenever it goes from one end to the other, Moldor might have done that too in Link to the Past. Um, I feel like we should so make some sort of reference to the Hangover since we made a reference to the Hangover in the other two bosses. Oh, um. I'll have to think of that for the next few He lost an item, and, like, they lost their friend in the Hanover and the Tooth. <laughs> Just me that took it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's kind of rushed. Well, we made the rest Sorry. We, we, we came here, we got paid, we're done. <laughs> you getting paid for this? No. No. There's no money involved here. That's why I'm phoning it in. Oh, I think pointing out that we made the hangover references should have counted.